Did Erling Harden get robbed for his Ballon d'Or this year? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Half Yard TV. My name is Ramos. I'm joined by. Oms. It's your boy Hass. Before we start, make sure to like, share, subscribe, follow up all the socials. Audio listeners as well, we're back on, you know what I'm saying? We're back on podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to watch it or listen on your commute, you can do that now. Go ahead, go ahead, like and subscribe. Like like the question was at the beginning of the, uh, of the show, did Erling Harden get robbed for the Ballon d'Or? I mean, Fabrizio Romano brought out. Bro, that guy. First of all, I, I liked the days when we found out on the night. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Why are we finding out five days in, in bro, advance? Bro, mumps, Ack. This, this well, I'm sure in August, bro. bro man, done a, after the deadline, they finished. Yeah, nothing to talk about. He said, yeah, let me just leak it. <laughs> but yeah, Ballon d'Or, bro. It's that period where it was Ballon d'Or with FIFA. Mm. That will be unmatched, bro. Because now you've still got the best awards. Remember the ones that used to be in January? Yeah. Straight New Year, you got a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. You've got, what was it? Um, Kate Abdo doing the yeah. uh, presenting. Oh, then yeah, she was there. Remember, she was doing the presenting in bare different languages. You've got every man in the crowd. Mm. Bro, mm. them days, I miss them days. Now it's a bit like they're speaking in We've French. Messi, Messi Maybe coming because in. We're, we're entitled, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah. Everything's in English. We, we have now, Didier Drug was speaking in French the and that. The trip as well was nuts. Yeah, the trip was nuts. <laughs> Messi coming in red suit. Ah, oh, it was different. Serious, bro. Next, next to them, misses as well. <laughs> yeah, and then just that song. <laughs> it was different. It was different. It was proper award. It felt. Legit, and because really? it was one, yeah, it was just that one award. But now yeah. there's like the best as well. So it's kinda, that's UEFA. It's kind of like no, no, it's FIFA. FIFA, Remember the best. FIFA, yeah, oh. FIFA split up with um, the actual France football. Ballon d'Or is created by France football. Hence like the some, name some being French. Football, yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's like now what happened with um, EAFC, and then FIFA's gonna release their new game. Oh. So it was like FIFA and EA Sports were together. So there's politics. As yeah, well. it's kind of like that. So we used to just assume that it was just one entity, but yeah, it was separate and then. They've gone there both ways. You're asking, has Messi been, or has Haaland been robbed? Yeah. I can't lie for me. It's a tricky one. I can it's see both he sides. Wins the best player I can see both sides, I'll be wrong. Yeah. Like, I can see guys that say Haaland, he scored 50 something goals. But then Messi, that oh, can World Cup. Bro, that World Cup madness. Mm. Oh, the World Cup is just cement it. I, can't lie. I reckon, like, if you're looking performance wise, efficiency, everything, That's Haaland poorly. deserves it. I can't lie. Haaland deserves it. But. The World Cup holds so much weight, bro. And do Messi himself. Do you think it holds that much weight to the point where Haaland can get? No, but you know what it is. I think it's treble, easier. And top scorer. How record. many goals did he score? Fifty something in fifty something games. But I think what helps is number one, Messi tax. We can say yeah, Messi's tax. crazy PR. Rightly so. He's done best player in history and stuff. But then also Haaland didn't score in so many finals, bro. Big moments. He didn't score in the semi-finals at the Bernabeu. He didn't score a, a semi-final at the Etihad second leg. He didn't score in the semi-final at the FA Cup. He didn't score in the final of the Champions League or the final of the FA Cup. But he scored I'm, I'm in saying every that other game, though. I know, to get but, to that. but I'm saying that's what kind of, for me, makes the decision easier. If, I reckon. I if he would have scored I the run, a cop I out yeah, yeah, I, I think you're making it easy. Nah, you're bro. giving them an excuse. It's the truth, but no, but let's not act like it. Shouldn't I be think like it's just solely because it's messy. If any other man was to have a good season like that mm. and win the Ballon d'Or, I disagree. It wouldn't. I disagree, bro. Because I don't think, bro, I don't think it's that important for that stuff, really and truly. Because he scored to ha an unbelievable amount of goals to get his team to those points. Yeah, but fair enough. Know, if he it, has the, it matters in the, in the big moments. Like people watch the big moments. No, I you know he scored whatever five goals in Leipzig at home, but it's the semi final Real Madrid. If he dunks on the head. The narrative is completely different. In the final, if he scores that goal that Rodri scored, bro, the narrative is different. And let's not mm. act like Messi is the only guy who's won it off a World Cup campaign, bro. Cannavaro in 06, bro. He done nothing. He didn't win the league. I'm pretty sure Juventus didn't win the league. He went to Real Madrid stinky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We know about Cannavaro's time at Real Madrid. It was terrible. Mm. Bro, he just won it off that campaign, bro. He won he a whole Ballon d'Or off that campaign. Yeah. And that guy was a defender. Messi, we're talking about the best uh, World Cup campaign in history. Yeah, but... How many no, goals did no, he score? No, 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 you can't discredit Messi. Right. 100% because Messi no, was, uh, he, he played a significant part to them winning the World Cup yeah. as well. He scored how many goals? Bro, he's the best the World stages. Cup campaign ever, yeah. bro. And but is- you also got to remember Haaland, bro, he won the treble. And he was a huge part to Man City's success as well. Mm-hmm. Before Haaland, they didn't win the Champions League. Yeah, no, so exactly. you could say he was the missing factor the missing to them winning yeah, it. That's the whole reason no, why No, that's what I'm saying. I can hear both sides. So that's what I'm saying. Me personally, I can hear both sides. I can hear wait, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me propose a different question then. Okay, go on. You're saying Haaland is the missing piece as to why they won the Champions League, even the treble, right? Potentially. Um, but then you were making a point earlier saying Haaland was missing for the big games. He said that, by the way. Or was it Omen? Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't say he was no, missing. He said he, missed, he didn't he score in the final. But that's basically missing, right? He nah. didn't score in the final. What was it? Semis as well. For the big moments, yeah. He if won't he's really, missing he won't so really you're the games, s- 
and how did he how was he the factor that so, so wait the his goals were the he was his goals were the ones that I even got how, them how to I that see point. it is bro but they would have scored those goals anyway like quarters round of 16 mm. They were the best team, even, you got when, also, even if you take Haaland out of the equation, they were the best team last season. Nah. They were. They were. For me, I can't lie. If they didn't have Haaland, I'd, be, I'd have a Premier League right now, bro. bro I don't think so. A hundred percent. I don't think so. If Erling Haaland wasn't that sick, Arsenal would have won the Prem last year, bro. Why didn't you win the Prem when Jesus was Erling Haaland exists. Why didn't you win the Prem the year before? No, 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 that's different. Because uh, Jesus is part of our team this season. No, but that's different. That, or that you're, now you're saying playing Alvarez up top for the whole season. That's different. That's my point. If they didn't have Haaland in that team, no, we would have been the better team. I can that say year. if they didn't have Rodri, what, does Rodri deserve a Ballon d'Or? No, no, but in this context, we're not saying Rodri's the best player in the world. He's bro, the reason why they won Champions he's League. He's getting Haaland's goal scoring record in the Premier League as well. No, I know, I know, I agree. He broke a record. Just because, cool, let's say he ain't scored in the final, semi final, you can't discredit the fact that he scored prior to that. Because he's contributed to them leading up. You go also understand the, the, no, the psych- saying, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you go also understand the psychological benefit of having Haaland on your team, bro. Yeah, You're scary, like, bro, this guy's the real bag, but we're me, playing well. I hear Haaland. Of course, he made a factor. Of course, he's part of the team. He scored them goals. But for me, the reason they won the Champions League this year is purely because everyone in Europe is meaty, bro. Like Real Madrid finished Benzema. Of course, he's still done his thing, but Benzema was Asian. He even had injury no. issues. Modric had injury. Wait, let me finish. Then you've got PSG. That front free, bro. Neymar was injured. Messi after the whole cup, bro. He didn't give a crap. He just trying to go to Miami and that. Then who else do you have, bro? Bayern. They had no striker. No. Bro, who do you have, bro? That's a fair point. But then, yeah, if literally, you, bro, we saw Inter then, Milan and AC Milan no, bro, listen in the semi final. What you're saying is true, yeah. But this was the That's same what case. This was the same it case. Wasn't. Two, three seasons ago. No, it wasn't, bro. Yes, it we was. still had a good Liverpool team. Last season, we who them. did they play? Last season, we were washed. Who did they beat? Last season, I've seen Henderson and Favini on that, bro. It was the worst Liverpool team ever. Bro, last season, That's a Man City. Not ever, all but the teams, yeah. All the teams were meaty compared to Man City anyways, last season. That's, that's my point, bro. Yeah, and the they still didn't win the Champions League. Last season, they won the, the Champions League. The one before. No, they won before. No, they won. They won. Liverpool, we were competing with them, bro. They, bro, Man City were, were better than you guys, bro. Yeah, but it wasn't clearly better. We got to what, every single final. I reckon it's the same as last season, bro. Was there not. wasn't much huge difference. The teams weren't much worse. They off. were, they were, bro. I'm I don't think they, they were. were. They were. I, I think, think really and truly, like just just my point of view, what you were saying about the, the narrative and stuff of Haaland not being not showing up in those finals, the, those important games. Honestly, I, I think, think that's, that's a cop out. That's really the reason. I, honestly, I believe that's it. fair. That that might that's, be the that's, reason. That's I think I that's an easy cop out for these journalists who were voting for this, the people that were voting for this, because really and truly. Just the World Cup. He didn't really do anything else. I mean, it's only that that Messi done. Like, what else did he do in the rest of the year? He scored goals, but yeah, I hate. I hate do you know what I mean? I hate. Well, so wait, who who are you saying should have won it? Let's keep it short and sweet. Honestly, I'm 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 sixty forty so, probably to Messi because there's also that nostalgia of Messi's last one. You know, they like basically the narrative is someone needs to take it off Messi. That's what it is. Like, whether it's right or wrong, yeah. it's Messi's hands. You need to do something abnormal. That's what I'm trying to say. If he scores in a final, winning goal, if he scene, he's he's he scores in a semi, then it's undeniable. That's that's my point. He's literally won them. But he made it easy for them. Solely because it's Messi winning the World Cup. If it was any other man that won the World Cup and had the same season as Messi, Haaland's winning the Ballon d'Or. He didn't have a bad season, like stat wise. The guy got like. No, I'm not talking stat wise. It was nowhere near the season that Haaland had. No, 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 no. Start wise, it wasn't, it wasn't that no far. No one's you know? saying he. Had I swear, it wasn't season. that far. And plus, we can talk about what Ronaldinho 06, He won a Champions League. Um, he how many goal and, goal contributions did he get? Unbelievable in that year. Who won it? Cannavaro just of six games, seven games, a defensive player. And you reckon it was solely so for that? I think World Cup. I can't throw it factor, back to 06 because I can't remember, bro, that far. I'll be honest yeah. with you. Bro, but 06, are you hundred percent sure what you're saying? Cannavaro was trash so, that season. I'm not saying it's trash, but he didn't win the Champions League, bro. He got dumped out by who? I've, I'm sure Arsenal knocked out Juventus. It was Vieira and Ramba mm. Fabregas dunked on Vieira. Yeah. Was, that, was, it, was it that year? It was that, that year. It was that year, yeah. So they we, did we nothing, faced bro. Barcelona in that and after that, he went to Real Madrid. We know his time at Real Madrid. I think he won the league that season, but mm. Cannavaro didn't do that. So but you're saying Messi, 60 40 Messi? Yeah. Salad? My heart won, wants Messi, but I can't lie. Haaland should be the winner. Fair enough. Ahmed? I think Salad put it straight up. I can't lie. Messi's a one, yeah. probably the GOAT, bro. Be honest with you, but arguably the one. goat. But to deserve this one, if you're talking deserving, it's just because it's Messi, bro. But actually, you know what? I reckon Haaland deserves it. But Messi won the World Cup, and that was just a missing piece in his career it's all awesome. this time. Yeah. A year, yeah. like a proper uh, title. Just to cap off everything in it, I guess. Yeah. So for me, Haaland was, was deserving for it. I would it. select I would Haaland, though. We're yeah. talking robberies. So. 
Yeah. Lewandowski. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. problem. Yeah, I, that's a, that's a good point though. Who who's the best player to not have won the Ballon d'Or to miss out on the Ballon d'Or? We we're saying Ronaldinho that year. We we're saying Lewandowski that year as well. Tiara that we know. Rio free. Yeah. Nedved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nedved's That's because he got to the Champions League final. Yeah. Yeah. I know he scored a couple of goals in yeah. that, but bro, I'm pretty sure this guy had like 20 goals, 24 assists or something like that in mm-hmm. the league. Bro, I reckon. 24 goals, 20 assists. If it wasn't for Messi and Ronaldo, I reckon Suarez could have had bro, two to three Ballon d'Or. Suarez mm. that year. Because he, you know, Suarez is the only player to win um, in, within Prime Messi and Ronaldo's time. He's the only player to win European gold and, and still, like he's up there with them. Not, goals. It's not only and another year he got violated as well because you know he bit this. So they just, yeah, <laughs> they, just, they just banned him. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just banned him. <laughs> but that year, I think he was up there with Ronaldo as well for goals. It's not the, even the thirty-one. Yeah, yeah, the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. He I missed out the games. Swear yeah. down. It's not even like stats wise and that. Mm. Suarez, he was, should, was generally he should. I feel like we're so blessed to see a player like him in our generation yeah, mm-hmm. and witness him live all. But at the same time, I feel bad for the guy because he lived in the same time yeah, as Ronaldo yeah, and Messi. Yeah, yeah. But I reckon Suarez 100%. Bro, definitely would have won a battle. One one yeah. Dangerous guy. Van Basten's got three, bro. I know Van Basten's elite, but I'm saying Suarez is not that far off if we're talking all-time strikers. So okay, yeah. Actually, him. let's rephrase the question. Who, if Messi and Ronaldo didn't exist, who, would, who do you who think would, would have... Been, would have probably Ooh, got a Ballon d'Or. Luis Suarez. This Luis Suarez is one. Suarez. Even that Liverpool season. Ibrahimovic one year. There was one yeah, year where he was third, I think. Yeah. 2012. When he first yeah. went to PSG. 2013 has to be Ribery. I think that was Ribery. that year yeah. where wait, everyone wait, wait, was fuming. What year was Snyder got robbed? Where's he Snyder? Snyder, I think that's a, that's, that's a bit of a myth. No, 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 no. You know me, I was on a high ace that year, but I've done oh, a couple of research. No, no. I've done research, but Melito is the guy that year, bro. He scored two goals in the final. He scored in the semis and that. But Snyder had a cold season, man. He did have a cold season. He got season. robbed. Who won it that year? Was it Messi? Messi, Messi won it. Yeah, yeah. Snyder got 2013, robbed. 2013, yeah. Iniesta was 2012. He was third. We're talking finals, though. Look at the campaign. Xavi, Iniesta should... Xavi, Xavi 2010. Oh, they eight. should... One of the guys... And 2011. And 2009. They should have one. Ramos, Xavi Iniesta's third, a big three years in a row. No, that's how people don't understand how good Xavi Iniesta is. Iniesta as well, Tell World Cup. Just because in compilations, he doesn't look good because he's not doing like Rocketters. Yeah. Uh, Xavi is, 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 is fundamental. Bro, when you actually Walla, go... I was going back at that World Cup campaign, innit? I was actually watching the games and that. Brother, this guy, he... Every pattern of play... Stop the cap. <laughs> no, 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 they know. They know. I can put it in there. I can put it in there. I've done a cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't try it, don't try it. Don't try it, don't try it. I'll put it in the trying to impress someone on a different level. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to leave half a yard quick. <laughs> You're trying to get that spot. <laughs> Look at these guys, haters. No, 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 I can't lie. These guys know I brought our cup to educate the masses. Uh, <laughs> You're not trying to buzz, but... Bro, Xavi, I'm telling you now, every turn, every attack, every play, bro, he's going for him, bro, in the centre. He's either... From okay. deep, knitting it together with the centre-backs. Even when he gets into the box where he's doing little flicks, bro, Xavi. Iniesta as well, though. Yeah, yeah Iniesta, 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 Iniesta definitely yeah. deserves it, Ribery, in my opinion. Neymar. Ribery, 13 I'm telling you. 014, Suarez, if he didn't bite, he's getting that one. Noya? <laughs> uh, yeah, Noya as well. for that. as well. But goalkeeper ain't winning no ball on man. I like, man. I think, he, he, I I think that could have been him. If there was ever a keeper that would have done it, it would have been him. I've got another interesting one there. Okay. Neymar? Neymar, yeah, who would have been there? 2015, maybe, innit? Yeah. You'd probably say that, that year. Mm. It was unbelievable. Maybe 2016, you can give it to Griezmann, bro. Oh. Euros, remember, he was cooking. Yeah. I think he even got fourth year. or something like that. Maybe on the Ballon d'Or list. Along those lines. He was up there. But he was cold. Atletico as well, he got to the final of the Champions League. Yeah. He missed the penalty, but... <laughs> he got like that one, you know what I mean? It <laughs> happens. know, pro clubs, it happens. You missed yeah. penalty. What about Mbappe? It mean the player. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about Mbappe? Of course, Mbappe is a new gen. 2019. It's an yeah, exception. What, what year would you say? World Mbappe? Cup winning year. Maybe this year. Just come burst onto nah, the scene. That's, that's, that's Haaland. That's Haaland. That's Haaland. I'm just saying. It's Haaland. He wouldn't actually. Yeah, he may have been a second in the yeah, Mbappe, Mbappe in the future. What about World Cup winning? You need the World to win Cup. something big, innit? World, World Cup 2018. Yeah, Mbappe was Modric crucial. won that, though. Messi and Ronaldo didn't win it. Yeah, I know it was crucial, though. You think Mbappe. Yeah, but I'm saying the whole point was if Messi yeah. and Ronaldo don't win it, who would win it? You know what? That year, Ronaldo got robbed. Modric, nah, man, he didn't get robbed for nothing. Yeah. I call it like Modric, Modric, that yeah. was. Modric Messi, cold, Messi, but Messi was the best. Well, I was watching that. I year. don't think Modric. Do you know how had... I was watching that year? Modric got boosted. Coutinho signed for Barcelona. Coutinho is my favorite player in history. <laughs> Bro, I was watching every single Barcelona game. Wallah, he this Messi guy. Yeah. When I tell you, he's getting, <laughs> he's getting four goals, two assists every single game, and he's putting man on a plate like four times. Suarez is missing like five sitters in a game. Suarez is still coming out with the game with like three goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you missing five assists and coming that out with three goals? He's getting put on a plate. Would you reckon about Lewandowski? 
think you touched on it a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got ro- he No, but that's a straight robbery. <laughs> like, he was the clearly... Most blatant <laughs> robbery of all time. That. How, how is there football you guys <laughs> not Bro, the man is acting like there's not football going on, bro. The Champions it's League like, happened, the league's bro. happened. What? If bro, I, that's a blatant robbery. If I was Lewandowski, I'd probably Fuming. be crying at night. You guys, you guys are forgetting some guy in plain sight. Mm. Van Dijk. Oh yeah, 2019, 2019. He yeah. missed, he, he was like four he points was, away. Bro, he was, was second. He second? Yeah, he was like four points away only, bro. He, sh- he should have won. He's the closest anyone's ever been to Messi mm. in, in points totals in Ballon d'Or. Since he started winning. Van Dijk yeah. was yeah. solid when he bro, came. Bro, Van Dijk. I swear that, to God. People just see first bro, injury. Bro, that man. season. <laughs> Brother, that he guy. was that so good that year. <laughs> Bro, Van Dyke's peak. Bro. Well, well, it's moving like Van Dyke fell bro, off. He's still good. No, no, no. But he, bro, I'm yeah, telling you, Van Dyke is literally just a yard of pace that he's missing this yeah, season. Yeah. Everything else. But it's just because people have created like a myth. The narrative, you know I mean? narrative <laughs> it's like, is so strong. And it's like, this girl's, bro. There's a mix between narrative and rivalry. The guy's human, rivalry. bro. What do you expect him to not make a mistake, fam? There's a mix between narrative and rivalry as well. And there's, and there's injury stuff. So yeah. people are creating like two different like post injury. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's like two different people. Comparisons, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not the same guy as that guy. Do you think so it's next up? Talking about centre backs as well, yeah. What about Maldini? Oh, bro, we're talking about Messi Ronaldo. No, no, no. We're talking about centre backs. Van Dyke. Maldini. What about Maldini? Ramos, double checking it. Well, I don't think Maldini. Maldini never won a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. We're, we're known. He's but you're saying you're talking about Van Dyke becoming so close to Messi. 94 one of them, like we, when we talk about defenders, the first name yeah, that comes Maldini to everyone's mouth Maldini is Maldini. In 94, he was third. Yeah, because he got to a World Cup final. They, they lost the You reckon he should have. <sighs> For me, defender, you've got to do something mad, mad. Bro, do you know what's the hardest position, though, in my opinion? A goalkeeper. How do you win a Ballon d'Or as a goalkeeper? Yeah, no, but them positions is like you're not even touching a ball. Now. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not in the game. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no goalkeepers out. No. Goal- deep. No, no, no. You get paid, no, but it's the reason they get paid the least. Someone like Noya, bro, changed the game. No, but that game is heavily weighted. That's attackers. what I'm saying. If there was ever attackers going to be a the keeper, one it, it would have been him. Yeah, 2014 probably. But Suarez as well. Around it, yeah, but he got done. There's a lot of guys, but yeah, let's move on. Um, okay, let's go to the new generation now. Yeah, obviously, I'm wearing the Barca shirt just for aesthetics, don't really, I don't really support it. But, um, they lost to Madrid. Uh, one, we're recording this on the Saturday, Drew Bellingham. <laughs> Different, 13, Different. Was, it, was it 13 or 14 now since he scored I the second? I think it was goal. 14 games, 13 goals. 13 goals, but I don't know about if it's the I think it's 13 games. goals, 13 games because they said it was a 13 game. Three assists, today. yeah. Who was it I was saying the other day? Since Messi and Ronaldo has left, someone needs to claim the throne. Like, as in, mm. go for it. And the only person that's really going for it is Jude. Bellingham. I think Mbappe as well. No, Mbappe, the problem with Mbappe, Mbappe is, is, is there, there for him you know to take, is, though? but it feels like he's not doing I think we've, be, I think that time is gone of like two man dominating. I think we've post Messi and Ronaldo. Bro, look how Ballon d'Or used to be before, bro. Yeah. It used to be like every year some new brother wins it. Yeah. I think he's just going to go back to that. We've just had been blessed of like two guys for 15 yeah. years just matching works every year mm. and just dominating that. But I don't think we're going to see that, bro, again. I think it's going to be like one year now, look, Haaland had a good year, he's going to win it. Maybe centre mid pops up like a Pedri and just does a Mazzellin. Barcelona yeah. win the Champions League. It's like, it's going to be like that, I think. Who do you, who do you yeah. think is most likely to win a Ballon d'Or first? Mbappe, Haaland or Bellingham? Mm. Mbappe, I reckon Mbappe as well. Should have been Haaland, bro. <laughs> Should already have one to his name. But, you never um, know, man. Yeah, I think it could be in Bellingham. Cause, cause I can't lie, this year if he, if he continues, this guy is really different. Could be Bellingham. It really, bro. But they ain't winning no Champions League. Bellingham's you know. how old? Twenty, right? <laughs> the team so, yeah. is the most unbalanced team I've ever seen. <laughs> bro, there's well, a, I can't lie. Like, people laugh 20. when they retired his number at Birmingham, bro. I hear it now. I I think think that was, new news, I can't lie. <laughs> I hear it now. Or maybe that was just a big. I think that was financial, apparently. I don't know. I don't know the full ins and outs. I hear it. But it was something to do with like financial. He helped them out. You see his his pay, his transfer fee. Yeah. I think it was like 22 mil. That actually got them out of financial difficulty. Like the Uh, club was going to go into turmoil. I think just from that, I don't think they, it was because of, but they can just say, turn around now and just say, he's going to be a superstar. You know what I mean? (laughs) The club club was going to be like Berry and that, bro. It's gone. Administration. Ahmed don't know about Barry, bro. He's he he saying he random teams to him. He's like, Barry? He fixes B E R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. B E R. It's not sure. I know about Barry. Hey, Barry, I see. I know. Spell it again? B U R Y. No, he's spelled it. He's saying Barry got buried. Yeah, 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 Barry got buried.
teenagers are like becoming focal points of the attack Freaks. midfield. Bro, oh, it's like a new, it's a crazy new yeah, generation now. Bro, the teenagers nowadays, I, don't, I can't They're get the hang of it. We can They're list them. Teams. With Barcelona alone, you can list so many. Yeah, yeah, Lamine Yamal's come up now. Pedri, Gavi. Fermin Lopez. Fermin, he's so the other you that, Alde. The other you that scored the other day, the 17 year old. Yeah, that's Fermin. No, 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 that's, that's our guy. Marky Gui. Gui, Gui. Gui. He's a striker. Oh, striker. Yeah, man, yeah. okay. Fermin is a midfielder. Yeah. yeah, but if you just look around the world as well, so many. I think Belgium was just had so many now. Yeah, yeah. Musiala, Musiala, Hendrik, yeah. even Vinicius used to be a young Greenwood kid. when he was at uh, United. Yeah, yeah. bro, this <laughs> don't try this. No, but he, he, like he, was goals, you know? he, he was up there though. Like, <laughs> Man can get a voice note that you saying Greenwood. <laughs> But he would have he would have been amongst that class anyway, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But it's cr- what do you think? Do you think there's something different in water? Do you think it's just Bro, I swear to the God, start I of the nutrition this. era? I'm always thinking this. I'm thinking these young kids nowadays, as in young kids, as in the younger superstars. I don't know what they're eating. They're built different. Yeah. Their body, the muscles. Is it the teams? They're feeding them something specific. I don't know what it is. So I was gonna say, do you think they're benefiting so much from? Um, sports science and nutrition being at such a high point just as they were coming into the game at like 13, 14 oh, into the academy, factor, yeah. where they've been able to eat such good uh, like nutritious foods training, rest everything like that rest well, and recovery the game is so advanced point now they're at 18 but really and truly their body age is probably like 24 I think it's I think it's opportunity man they've seen Goals, the f- really. they've seen someone get an opportunity Rashford or whatever mm-hmm. and he's taking it and then Liverpool looking oh maybe do we have someone to help us in a- when we're going for a bad Sterling, spell I guess you know what I mean so I think it's and it's also coincides with when teams are not in their best state. Yeah. That's when because now Man City, bro, no one's taking Haaland space. You can be the best strike, young striker in the world if Haaland and KDB are there. Yeah. But no, you're not touching the position. How could you forget to name Haaland? Barcelona. No, but even him, he's kind of he hasn't really st- established his, yeah. his, his place in the side. He's still part. But of I'm it, saying, look at Barcelona when they went through their struggles. Rough patch. Now we've seen a whole batch of young players coming up. Yeah. Where before it was struggling a bit, like Adama Traore. And that. Mm. Like, it wasn't really You know what I'm saying La Masia wasn't, wasn't really Popping like that mm-hmm. So I think that's A big factor as well Like What I was thinking is You remember when Messi came onto the scene Yeah You remember As in I I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not saying The players yeah, have to be old, yo, like, I don't remember that bro. I'm not saying No as in, you can see Eclipse in that bro yeah, When he first yes. came on Ronaldinho gave him yeah. A little pass And he yeah. done his little Scoring thing yeah. You can see his Like his Body shape Muscles like Growth Everything it, You get it As in now You look at a 16 year old Now they built like tanks. Yeah, bro. They got trained. They Mokoko, got, they all got these a other trainer guys. to themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The a way spe- they specialized trainer just for him and him. Well, I and think him. it's just. I think it's a lot of genetics as well. Because Rooney at sixteen, but that yeah. guy is smashing in prime invincibles. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. he's smashing goals for, from from <laughs> nearly the halfway line cross button. I saw a video. So I think kids. I think it's just it's like guys like Bellingham, they're just yeah. generational guys. Like you know, from like age fifteen, he's gonna be. Brother's gonna be something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the way they just built. The way their mentality is. Mbappe, Mbappe as well. Mbappe, the way their even mentality is, like, them guys are special. Also, I think there might be a thing in, obviously, other sports as well. For example, just saying basketball. There's a There's been a massive change from, like, over the last 10 years where the average age of a team has drastically dropped because they'd rather give an opportunity to someone that who could be next rather than pay the high wages of yeah. a player that... You know what I'm saying? He's kind of proven, but we already know who, what, he's not really going to be that guy to save us. He's just going to be like oh, part of the machine. You know what I'm saying? That could also be it. Like I said, saying the opportunity of teams, like just wanting to be the next person to grab the next star, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It could just be like a whole wave of it. To think of it now, Bellingham to yeah. be the next big thing and he's arguably the best player right now in world football. Mm-hmm. English as well. Mm-hmm. Crazy. It's, it's crazy, is it not? When was the last time you saw like English being one of the best players in the world? Like Rooney, I guess. Yeah. Well, he he was in class. Even the best him, he was. He went no, we, Ronaldinho. If we were to, yeah. yeah, that's true. But if we wanted he to, he was nowhere near Michael Owen, maybe. No, they were saying he was level with Ronaldo at one point. No, I know, but I'm saying that was when saying. they were both younger. I'm talking about like Ballon d'Or. Owen, Owen. Who? When was the last English player yeah. on the Ballon d'Or podium? Yeah. Owen, Owen. But this trying to call Harry it, uh, Kane. That's what I'm trying to say, though. He's nowhere near it. That's like, major like, as well, yeah. finishing 20th and that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But let's get a wet buzz out for this, for this next segment. Also getting that out. Do you remember? Those, I remember there was like an era where there was a hot moment where everyone was like, who's actually going to replace the Suarez, Lewandowski guys as the best, like the next crop of people? I, I, at the time, I didn't see it. I think maybe like 2018, 2017 and that. Yeah. 
there was just a young Mbappe coming through at the time. And now, bro, it's crazy the amount of people that you're just like, who, okay, who's even going to be... Like, Word. Who's gonna... Now you've got Mbappe, Musiala. Yeah. The era that we lived in, basically. Like the Ronaldo, Messi, the players in that era, bro. Yeah. It was different. No, but we say that. No, the, but the older like, generation yeah, say yeah, that the as well. Generation, and then the older generation. Every generation is going to say yeah, that. Yeah, everyone's going to say when they're young. Yeah. When first getting into football. But yeah, in this segment, let's just rank these wonder kids, yeah? I'm just going to name a couple names. Okay. This is purely on what they were before the age of 21. How many names are you going to call out? Five names. Isn't Five. It? How do you rank them? them? As in... Just rank them. Who do you think Make is the your best? Make your own list. Yeah, who do you think okay, is the best? Go on. First, we've got Bellingham. We've got R9. This is purely on what he was before the age of 21. We've got Michael Owen. We've got young Wayne Rooney. This is the real big dogs. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we've got Kylian Mbappe. This is a mad list. list, you know. This is the heavyweights. We've got to say now, who's the best in it? We've just got to rank it. Did you fix the best? Did you fix the worst? Number five. From five to one, I'm going to go for dramatic, dramatic purposes. Number five, I put Wayne Rooney. Obviously, just to understand that all these five guys are absolute superstars. They were superstars when they were kids, blah, blah, blah. But Rooney, f- for me, f- five kind of suits him compared to the other players. Jude Bellingham is four for me because really, truly, he's still got that one year left. Um, he's already high level, but he hasn't really got the achievements yet to back hit me putting him above the rest of the other three three and two i think maybe interchangeable but i put michael owen third and mbappe second mbappe because he did win the world cup it was a bit unfortunate that ronaldo and messi were around as well i think he could have even stolen the ballon d'or in that time michael owen he actually got the ballon d'or which is the thing that i said reason why i said they could be interchangeable but f- number one for me is R9. I think he was just. I think he's a level above all these guys, even when they were that age. You know what I'm saying? I think this was the. Was he? When did he even injure his knee? I think that was 22. I think. Yeah. So this was. And we were already people were already considering this guy the PSV, best in the world at that time. Yeah, PSV. Was, yeah. He was doing a madness. Crazy. We've actually got the same list, you know, exact same list. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Literally <laughs> the same list. I was we know interchanging bo- between the bottom two. So bottom, same as him. I've got Wayne Rooney. I think Wayne Rooney is elite, mm-hmm. but this list, bro, it's not really like just because you're bottom of this list, it doesn't mean you're not. You're not you're, yeah, you're, yeah, it's not to discount it. Uh, discount 16, bro, as we were saying, invincible goal. Yeah, what he done in Euro 2004. Yeah, bro, this guy was just a madness. I think hat trick on his Champions League debut as well, it? Champions League debut, yeah. He was moving mad. I think you, Bellingham. You wait, let me made the arg- I'm gonna actually go into it. Bellingham, um, yeah. Bellingham fourth, bro. What he's doing now to carry around Madrid. No, cool. They're not. They're not the best. I'm seeing her hustling on that, but yeah. still, the name Real Madrid, the pressure is mad. Don't forget as well, World Cup. For me, people say Saka because of the France game, but this guy was England's best player in, in, in the World Cup for me. Owen, 1998, that goal. And don't forget, bro. Argentina. Owen, at, 17, at 18 and 19, he won back to back golden boots. Are you a teenager? And you won a back to back golden boots. In the thing. 18 years old or 19 years old in the Premier League. So he won back to back golden boots. European yeah. competition. As and well. then he won a Ballon d'Or as well at 21. Was and he's got that goal on European, the, Yeah, yeah it got oh, This guy's start to his career was honestly. He, for me, that one is interchangeable. Like, I can hear him, Owen second, I can hear Mbappe um, third. But in R9, yeah, clear. He has to be at the top. Yeah, R9 is clear. Go record at Barca, go record at Inter, mm-hmm. yeah. PSV. Mm-hmm. My top three is the same as you guys. So there's R9, Mbappe, Owen. Mm-hmm. But then I put Rooney ahead of Bellingham. It's not. Look. I know I support United and that. Yeah. I think Rooney, number one, is so underrated and so underappreciated. No, people is. forget that he came onto the scene so early. And as soon as he came onto the scene, like your argument earlier, the goals that he scored in the Champions League, you remember the volley, Rooney, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of that stuff. And another thing is, Rooney started at high level, whereas Bellingham started at Birmingham City. No, dis- no, no, not discrediting anything. From Everton. Where I know it's, Everton. Yeah. So Rooney yeah, they're started they're at high level immediately. Team. They threw him into the deep end and the team that he was playing in as well, Sir Alex, bro. You can't just crack and yeah, get into yeah. Sir Alex's team. So you've got to remember, like you're saying, there's immense pressure to play for um, Real Madrid. But you've got to remember, what's more pressure? Getting thrown into a, like a deep end and Sir yeah. Alex's team straight away at like 16, 17 or uh, Madrid. going into Madrid. I like 20 something. I think Madrid type know, of pressure. I think Madrid is harder. That compares to Madrid or Barcelona. Yeah, I think you know Madrid is harder. But no, bro, Man United, he can get taken out again, bro. There's, there's still <sighs> bro, um, guys, there's still Ruud Van Nistelrooy was still there at that time. Oli Gordon Solskjaer was still there. Like, you've got guys. Reliable like, guys. 
Brother, if Bellingham is not scoring, then man, should I watch that? Yeah. He has to score two goals in a classical, otherwise yeah. they're losing. The he has to score last minute winner after they're losing the game. I don't see Everything's ben- on Bellingham. I don't see Bellingham doing and bursting onto the scene the way Rooney did. That's 16. That's my argument. Yeah. No, but that's harsh. Man, man's coming yeah. out championship. Like, what do you want to yeah. do? Yeah. You know no, what I mean? No, no. Also, that, that's sentiment. Like, and it's a sentiment. Yeah. You've got to take that into consideration, bro. Yeah. They're close. That's what they're doing. Yeah. I hear it, though. That's yeah. fair. Rank, no, rank these five wingers. Name number one, Bale. Then we've got Mohamed Salah. Then you've got Eden Hazard. We'll throw in Neymar. Little Neymar. Then finally, Nardinia. another heavyweight. No, no, no. Robin. Number one, bro, is easy. Neymar. Bro, what this guy's done, bro, throughout his career. Came in from Santos. You know what I'm saying? This guy was always a wonder kid at Santos. How am I watching Brazilian League games, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, how you been? You know what I mean? This guy was a superstar in Brazil. Act. Man, don't have to come to Europe to, to, to become superstars. Goes to Barca, bro. Madness. If he didn't make that PSG move, forget about this list, bro. We're talking about, bro, Messi, Ronaldo, Maradona, bro. He's on that list. For me, talent level-wise, he's up there with them. Second, for me, Gareth Bell. Purely on what he done, bro. Just achievements. I don't think consistent-wise, like, league campaigns. He had that season at um, Spurs last season before he went to Madrid. But consistently, a lot of times, in and out injury. Even after Ronaldo left, I think Benzema had to carry. Like, he wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Everyone thought he would be the next guy to take over. He didn't really do it. But still, for me... Dunked on my team, you know what I'm saying? Liverpool, Champions League, he has to be second. Third, I've actually got Mo Salah. Bro, what this guy's done in the six, seven years that he's been in the Prem, bro, unbelievable. Like, to get, I think he's got like 148 goals and like 60-something assists in like 200-something games, bro. This is mental numbers. Like, he's, I saw things, um, stats today. Callum Wilson, he's had like 80 goals or something like that. And everyone's saying, oh my God, it's amazing. He's nearly going to be in a 100 club. Mm. And I see someone posting Salah stuff and I'm thinking, bro, this guy's a striker. This guy's the winger, bro. He's actually mad what he's done. He's also got Egypt. People say he ain't done nothing to Egypt, but he's got to two finals. He's also got them to the first World Cup. His goal actually got them to the first World Cup, I think since 1990. Of a tricker, you know what I'm saying? He could do that. Um, <laughs> fourth, I've got Robin. This one was actually a tricky one. I can't like Robin, between Robin and Hazard, but Robin, purely off that Dortmund goal. Also, 2014 World Cup, 2010. I know he missed the penalty. No, not missed the penalty. He missed the one-on-one. But yeah, Robin in the Champions League times, you know what I'm saying? Cutting, bang. Arsenal, you know what I'm saying? Your team finished them off. United finished them off. We weren't there, so you couldn't do nothing to us. So yeah, that's my list, man. Hazard 5. Do you want to go second? Man? Hazard 5, yeah. Let's see. Let's see yours. Because you you said you don't have Neymar. No, no, no. What was your list, sorry? What was your list? Okay. Was your list? Neymar? I got Neymar number one, yeah. Bale number two, yeah. Mo Salah number three, yeah. Robin four, and Hazard five. Okay. Our first two is the same. Yeah, I think there has to be one or two. I've got Neymar, Bale, then I got Robin third, then I got Hazard fourth, and then Salah fifth. Yeah. Okay, go on, explain that. Why is Mo Salah? Yeah. Let's just get straight into it. Interesting. Why is Mo Salah lost? To be fair, I've done it because Hazard's basically gone in it. <laughs> in a couple of years' time, when Salah's career is over, I could rank him a bit higher. Fair enough. He's trying yeah, to do yeah. kind of it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, like you said previously, bro, the list, there's no hard feelings to anyone. Everyone on this yeah, list yeah, is goers, isn't it? But like I said, Neymar, Bell, first, second, yeah, of course, you pretty much described the Neymar and Bell situation. But then I put Robin third. I think people seem to forget about Robin, man, about Robin Ribery, the seasons that they were having, bro. Day in, day out, you would know we're cutting. How can a man, you know, that would do. What he does, he cuts in and he still smacks it top left. How is that possible, bro? Day in, day out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champions, yeah, he was Champions League, even for Bayern Munich, no, bro. No, no, Champions how many was seasons he was can't. coming clutch for the league he scored title? He the goal that won them, the Champions League. Yeah. He missed the one in the other one. So, you know what I mean? Back and to finals. Wasn't that the treble year as well? The one, yeah, he, he, he won them the treble, treble yeah. Against Dortmund, that little flick. Yeah, the little flick. And uh, I put Hazard fourth. So I put Neymar first, Bell second. Yeah. Robin third, Hazard fourth, Salah fifth. What was your one again? I had um, Neymar first, Bill second, Salah third, Hazard fifth, and I'm gonna start from five to one. Okay, cool. for dramatic purposes, of course. Number five, I've got Eden Hazard. Like we keep stating, being fifth in this list is not disrespectful, but compared to the careers and the, like, what these other guys have achieved, I think Hazard could have done so much more. He should be higher. But I think there was a lot of things that went against him. Consistency, injury towards the end of his career. But what he did, though, was sensational. When he's sensational, he's sensational. But for me, number five. Number four, 
I've actually got Gareth Bale. I I didn't think I could. The reason why is because I I didn't think I could put him above uh, Iron Robin. Iron Robin, I think he had the. He's done everything that Bale's done, but just a bit more. If that makes sense. Bale, I think I wanted to rank Bale a bit higher, especially because of what he'd done with Wales. Mm. Getting to semi-finals of a Euros is incredible. That is crazy, and that was the first. Uh, international tournament Wales qualified for since 1958 so 1958 oh, to 2016 moments. is crazy his big moments the, f- the goals in the Champions League finals um, the goals for Spurs um, Copa, del Copa del Rey that famous thing when he ran around the off the pitch back on the pitch crazy like four, I like four Bells he might, I can't like now that I'm just playing it he might be third I'm gonna have to swap him and Robin because I had Robin third yeah, I've got to say something mad after this lame finish I might have to stop him or Robin, actually. I think I'll put Robin fourth, Bell third. But Robin, he, Champions League. Nah, stick to it, stick to it. Gone to, he's to gone it. to a, he went. I know he bought, he didn't do well. In a, he had the moment to win the World Cup final for uh, Netherlands, but he didn't. He didn't really reach the heights in the Euros as well. International tournaments is a bit tough, but even Holland, they've got history of that. But for Bayern Munich, the fact that he was able to kind of extend his career to a point where there were so many times where we doubted him thinking that he was finished. He got, and when did he leave Bayern Munich? 2016? 18, I think. Bro, and from like 2008 to 2018, top of the game, any defender he was up against, he was doing the same move and no scoring. It's crazy. Like the level that he reached as well. Injuries though. Injuries, yeah. I hear it. His impact and like the legend of Iron Robin, I think it carried his name there. Now this one's going to shock you. Number two, I've got Neymar. And number one, I've got Mo Salah. Salah first. Yes. Now, the reason why I've got Mo Salah first, before everyone rips me, is because Mo Salah it was never meant to be on this list. Yeah, that's true. He's, he was a wonder kid at Basel. We saw him Ooh. join Chelsea, but he was never meant to be on this list. For him to have Premier League records, to win Liverpool their first Premier League, like to spearhead Liverpool to their first nice. Premier He's League maximized. title. The golden golden boots, twenty five plus goals every season. It absolutely Champions League, like he said, taking he's Egypt to a World Cup, bro. It's incredible what he's done. Out like, of everyone on this list, he's maximized his career. The most. Yeah, I think Salah. Like, he's got the best. Over discredited because he's so, so scatty much. Sometimes people don't like the. Yeah. They, they like to say he's not aesthetically pleasing, yeah, but I, I guess that's all subjective at the end of the day but for me I, I'm not really I don't really give a toss about that right now because this in this list he make a fair point he's though. done the yeah. most out of no, but the aesthetics these guys. people change it to like not techie mm. aesthetics no, I'm not techie man, he is techie yeah. Yeah. Still puts in he's so cool he's techie though. Though. no but I'm saying that's what people are equated to remember he used to spam that finesse little... remember <laughs> that Champions League when he just kept cutting in just tapping it and he flew top bins Alisson yeah, was getting yeah, ripped on the Rex Mo Salah is Absolutely sensational. Like, you can't all. chat about his legacy. Absolutely bro. sensational. On his day, lethal. I'm telling and you. Then how is he above Neymar? For me, I'm the biggest Liverpool fan. I know, no. For me, the, uh, that's the ma- reason, I wouldn't say he's the better player than Neymar, but I think he deserves to be uh, above Neymar also because he's done the opposite. Neymar, the seat was there for him to take the reins. PSG move ruined everything. It, it was, in hindsight... It ruined everything. At the time, it looked like a good de- decision to create yeah. his own legacy, blah, blah, blah. It didn't really work out. The setup was the, there for him the as well. Brazil, Brazil, he had opportunities to win. Couldn't get it done. Um, I think that's a bit unfortunate, though. It is unfortunate. Because, hey, bro, that goal that he scored last World Cup, yeah. brother, that is one of the best goals like, we've yeah. ever seen in the World Cup. Yeah. Bro. Just ripped straight through that spine of the bro. Yeah. It's a deep block, bro. That man are right hey. in front of the goalkeeper. He just ran straight through, bro. Went mm. past the keeper. There's no space to go past hey, the keeper. Lord, and this, he put it in. This leads on exactly to my next point. I know this might be controversial, mad take on that, but it just came in my head. Yeah. If Bell was to be Brazilian, yeah, I think I would rank him higher and than Neymar on this list. Because nah. if Bells could do what he did for Wells for Brazil. I would definitely rank him higher. You guys than don't Neymar. understand, man. You know when <laughs> Wales were making this run? Yeah. There was one tune that some band put out here that me and my younger brother used to bang out about Wales. The the narrative that I had in my head, then I see him score the free kick against England. Then I'm seeing how Ross and Kondu Crove turn and they're oh being, no, I've seen them climb the tournament. I couldn't believe what was going on that year. I'm telling you, Bell was Brazilian. But I'm saying, His name I know cool is harsh, but that time in football is... Bro, Dry. shut the it's hell fast. up, man. This guy, every time it's in football, fast. is dead, bro. bro how in the same year is Leicester winning the league bro, and Portugal is winning the Euros? 
What kind of year is that? <laughs> what do you mean Portugal in the Euros? Like, no, but but that team was meaty. I was at their squad. France, France Portugal. At their. And there is meaty for the shit, bro. France Adair. bottled it. Don't violate it. Injured what Ronaldo. And there is crap. Injured Ronaldo. Like France it. bottled it. That goal was. And there is good. That was a banging goal. Name me three of Edez clubs right now. That Gordon. was. Um, Name me three of Edez clubs right now. Actually, no, man. Braga. Go on. I don't even know if that's true, but. That's true. Yeah. He played for Braga. Well, how are you asking me to tell that's you? What I'm don't even know the answer. Swansea. Shut the hell up. And I, that's what, my point is, he's washed. I don't oh, care about oh, oh, oh. his Swansea. I thought you. I know he played for Swansea. I thought you were trying to put me on the knowledge nah, test. Bro, for uh, a uh, bro, that year is me. I thought man yeah. tried to test me halfway in that. Bro, he didn't even know himself. Bro, from 2014, no, let's just say 2015. To like 2018, brother, them years. I don't mind. Let's not count those years. Terrible. I don't mind. I'm asked for. I don't mind. Bro, it's terrible. By default, Arsenal are finishing second. Like. Default. Like they don't want to finish second. Oh, <laughs> How you in the title race, bottling after the the Leicester goal? Remember that Welbeck? They're literally top of the league. Yeah. They just lose bare games and then they still finish second at the end of the season. Bro. Yeah, the te- terrible team. Credit to Leicester. Flamini, Gabriel, the other Gabriel. Yeah, credit to Leicester, but they can never. Remember win. the yeah. first yeah. Gabriel. The high yeah. went Valencia. Paulista. Paulista. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. He crazy. was yeah, so dead. He's going, he's going, going, getting peaked. <laughs> <laughs> so to summarise again, my list is five Hazard, four Bale, third Robin, second Neymar, first Mo Salah. My list is Neymar first, Bale second, Mo Salah third, Eden Hazard fifth, and Robin fourth. My list is Neymar first, Bale second, Robin third, Hazard fourth, Salah fifth. Who are the best centre backs in the world? Let's just rank them right now. First up, we've got Saliba. Okay. Araujo. Yeah. Maguire. Yeah, Lauda. He's slandered. Lissandro Martinez. <laughs> Lauda, he's not making the list. We'll put in Ruben Diaz. We'll put in John Stones. And then finally, Virgil van Dijk. Why is he on there? Same, so, same 2019. We've seen your list, innit? Club, if you're club. bad, try to put him last. This is for right now. Yeah, Today. right now, who are you taking? So. <sighs> I will be going from five to one for suspense purposes. I want to say two, three, and four interchangeable. One and five set for me. Number five is Araujo. Doesn't mean that he's terrible. I think he just hasn't had enough good performances for me to say that he's as good as these guys. He is definitely up there with them, though. That's for sure. I want to put Ruben Diaz, number four, which sounds very criminal, but uh, I think John Stones has been better than him, especially at the last of recent. Um, I think Van Dijk has had the, like a resurgence as well. I put Van Dijk third though, um, because of the resurgence. I think John Stones is second, and William Saliba is first. Van Dijk third, first. Yeah, John yeah, Stones yeah. second. But no, no. But like I said, two, three, and four are interesting. No, no, no I don't want to hear that. But Va- Van Dijk, Van Dijk. Uh, William Saliba is first. I think William Saliba is so pivotal to the game. Oh man, you know what? I can't put into words how how much I love this guy, like, how much he means to me. To France, to Arsenal, the guy is incredible. I'm play for France, huh? Don't worry about that. Are you sure you're not Shaq's in disguise? <laughs> he doesn't play for France. Well, Let me go for so mine. Good, man. I, I still Dijk believe. Wait, wait, I still believe if he, if he wasn't injured, he would have won in France. He's dead, man. Who's Saliba? Nah, he's good. Saliba is good. Aura, Let me. Aura. Okay, let's do five to one as well. I've done Araujo number five. Same with as Fing was saying. He was even injured a bit last season. He missed the World Cup. I think ability wise he's up there. Like he's kinda of got the build of like Saliba Van Dyke levels. Like he's got the pace, he's got the strength, ball playing as well. But Barca haven't really I know they won the league last season, but Europa League. He hasn't really up been up there in the big moments, you know what I'm saying? Um fourth I've gone John Stones. I think John Stones ability wise he's actually up there, but injuries again, bro. This guy misses so many games, bro. He plays like twenty games a season. I think as well, I think defensively, I think his main quality is like on the ball. For for that city side he's perfect, but I don't know if he goes to like Manchester United if he's amazing. And he will probably be good, but I don't know if he's standing out like these other guys. Third, I've gone Saliba. I think Saliba's up and coming, bro. He's one of the best, bro. This guy, he's only slight, he's maybe a bit in the air, a bit struggles, but everything else, bro. No, that's just not true. But do you continue? I remember Tony last year. Do you know what I mean? Bro, Saliba, no, he's elite. Saliba, bro, there's a reason. Mama's 22 years old, like he's in this list. You know what I'm saying? But I think purely, I have to put Diaz in front of him, bro. Purely last season, winning a treble. And for me, his insurgence into the team is actually what? The minute he went into the team post Tottenham, bro, C just went on a mad run, winning a win run, bro. Won how many games? And then for me, Van Dyke, he's clearly the best, bro. Just because I would say Van Dyke, people think he's fell off. Maybe he's not at the level he was before, but for me, it's purely just pace. 
you lost the yard of pace, but this guy was at the levels like of 2019 to finish his second in the Ballon d'Or. Here we go. He was one of the best. Again. No, but listen, he was he was one of the best centre backs in history. So he's dropped off. That doesn't mean he's not one of the best centre backs in the Prem, bro. Like you don't go from best centre back in history to finish guy. You go from one of the best centre backs in history mm, nice, that. to now he's clearly the best centre back in the Prem. Wait, what's the date today? 28th of October 2023. It's not a leap year. 2023. 2023? Yeah. Why is guys still speaking about 2019? Don't know, man. COVID didn't even exist sometimes. Please don't. Yeah, you struggle sometimes. But so my much. list is Ruben Diaz first, uh, Araujo second, Saliba third, John Stones fourth, Van Dyke fifth. <laughs> Van Dyke lost? Yeah. No, but I know you. This guy was just trolling. No, I'm not trolling. Yeah, you were saying it. Personally. I don't, I don't saw know. saw you before camera. I, Van Dyke, bro. Allow it, man. Time's man's, over, man. Man's Knees are time's gone. Over. Knees are gone. He can't jump. <laughs> Knees, <laughs> Knees are gone. Knees are gone, bro. He ain't got the bounce. He ain't got the pace. He's not. He's not. He's not about. He's not that frightening. Knees anymore. weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> there's a reason why Saliba is being compared to Rio and not to Van Dyke, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah, because no one behave yourself in it. Behave. No one can read Van Dyke's level. Prime Van Dyke. Who have you seen in history? Be quiet, man. Let's go back in history. If Sergio Ramos, 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 Prime, Sergio Ramos was better than Van Dyke. No, Cannavaro, better. Cannavaro. Uh, Maldini, better. Nesta, better. <laughs> oh, man, the Nesta, better. Nesta, <laughs> better. That's these are the names we're talking about. Though. I ain't hearing Diaz and Araujo next to Nesta. Yeah, but you so just you just, just made your name. point. You just, you just said, made your point. Man, I have to bring Maldini and Nesta name. to make a point. Right now, Ruben Diaz is better than him. No, he's just coming back. Just come off of trouble. Yeah, he's he won a treble, but individually he's not better. Right now, Araujo is better than him. Right now, Salih is better than him. All these guys are better than he him. He didn't even believe that. So he don't believe it. That's <laughs> these are good. I rate Araujo above Saliba. I just yes. wanted to put it out there. They're both elite, oh, bro. They're both unbelievable. That's not yeah. even... They're bo- it's it's, it's, it's kind of interchangeable. Saliba, mark my words. Give it a few seasons. I know. You're not hearing him. You're not going to hear of him. That's mad. Konate should be here though if Saliba's here. I'm getting, I'm starting getting, they're triggering me on purpose. I'm, bro. So I'm, I'm saying. Not, I'm not for, I'm not for, I'm not starting for France. Yeah, All I should, but That's been a great episode of Half Year Podcast. My name is Ramos. I'm Jabal Ahmed. And Hass. Up, up Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, like, share, subscribe, follow up all the socials. Audio listeners, again, as we said earlier, you know and I'm saying, catch us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your audio, po- audio pods on. And yeah, man, without further ado. Half Year, we are out. out.